Today guys I'm gonna show you a really really strong deck with the Agrid Echoes and with uh, a couple of dragons that are gonna make you climb a pretty pretty good amount. You're gonna have to, if you haven't used a summon deck yet, make sure you practice it first, you're gonna make, you're gonna get the hang of it and it's gonna be pretty fun. Um, I'm gonna show you the deck in a second, I'm gonna mention why the deck is built as it is. You can copy it, you can uh, modify as well, I've been modifying it because I've been uh, trying to find out what where the weaknesses of the deck so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on changing probably uh, I want to make it better as but as good as possible and also I'm gonna show you at the end a couple of replays with the Hagrid deck that I'm talking about uh, really really good deck I'm gonna mention a couple of cards that are really important for the deck and also it's not a spam deck it's not a whole, only summon deck I have a mix of summon and um, spells so this is the deck Agri deck and uh, it's actually a pretty decent deck. Opagon is there obviously to protect yourself from uh, single summon like Monster Book, um, Pixies, it deals pretty well with it and also some uh, um, companions like even uh, Ron doesn't die to this but it, it gets a lot weaker. So Opagon is a pretty good card and it's a 2 MPs, so it's going to allow you to go through your deck very very fast, like Nebulas as well. Nebula is, most is mostly there to protect yourself, but also Thunderstorm is not uh, really in the game right now, unless you're Grandmaster and above. So I'm not going to fight any uh, Thunderstorm now, so I might change this, however, if they spam stuff, and you put the nebulas on the opposite side, you can just hide there for a few seconds. It's a two MP cost, so again, it allows you to go through your deck pretty fast, and also it heals you a little, a little bit, it stores a bit, so it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, Septon Sampra is there, again, if they're spamming, and honestly, I've seen a lot more spam now that Thunderstone Man, Orb of Water are not available, and Pyrtotum and Dragonite came back, so, yeah, there's a lot more spam. Is a spammy. You can use Sectum Sempra. If they have the egg, you can just throw Sectum onto the egg. It's gonna bounce a couple of times. It's gonna make it weak. So it's not bad at all. You can use Confringo here, but it's gonna be five MP. So that's why I'm using Sectum. It might change, but it's gonna be there for now. Expulso is there. Uh, very low MP and it does good damage and it also stole a bit. So if you want to move cards around on the opponent's side, if you make, if you want to make the knee flare go towards the center so you can kill it, you can use Explosive for that. Acromantula Acromant and Venom is not bad, so it's low down the opponent. If they're charging with you, it's going to do damage over time. I'm not super convinced about it. It's working okay. Also, if you put the opponent in the center of it, it's going to take a while for him to come out because it's going to be slowed. So, not bad, but I might change it eventually. Incendio is there, again, if they have the oh, egg, you might want to incendio that. Also, if they have Pierre Totum, if you have the Opalite, when they come close, you can just incendio them. It's going to do a lot of damage. You're going to get rid of them a, a lot faster. The Dragon Egg, the Norwegian um, Ridgeback, is insane. It's just insane. You summon it, it's going to arch and then uh, it's gonna do a lot of damage. It has a lot of HP, it does a lot of damage, uh, it's really annoying to deal with. Incendio is good against it, but don't forget when it hatches, it's gonna hit three random units, it's gonna do a lot of damage. I think it's 150 per hit right now for me, uh, but also I don't have, 140 sorry, I don't have him level up, so it's gonna do more damage. And then we have the Dragon, the baby Antipodia Opali, pretty good AoE damage, uh, unit it does hit from afar so even if the opponent has Cassandra it's not gonna enter the circle most times and it's gonna do damage on Cassandra it does good damage uh, the interval is not is is medium I wouldn't say it's long it's not short either it doesn't attack that fast but um, it's a pretty decent uh, interval and it does good 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 damage also pretty tanky so pretty annoying to deal with and yes we have a six and a seven card cost card but all the other ones are kind of low. I would say, I probably will change this eventually, even with a Niffler uh, or with Inflatus or with, um, I don't know, I might change it, but for now it's there and it's been working okay. And then guys, the companion, Cassandra is there, especially now there is spam everywhere. They're spamming, they're using spam deck a lot. 
thunderstorm or or water are out and they were some of the best uh, spell cards to deal with spam especially with spiders pixies and so on with weak units uh, <laughs> obviously the bun pure totem is back egg is back so kassan is pretty good it's gonna get rid of most of the spam ron is also good because if the spam the more the spam the more chess pieces is gonna make and then it's gonna collect them all next to the opponent wizard and you can send you a lot of them and then uh, i'm using malfoy i'm not super sure about malfoy it's not bad but i think that is better option you could use the twins as well uh ivy is pretty good because a lot of people are using ron so ivy might be the better option maybe even ivy in the middle but yeah malfoy is not bad by the end of the game you can just keep on spamming it's gonna create volume it's gonna do damage it's gonna be annoying to deal with and uh yeah guys that's uh, it for the video i'll leave you to some replays thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one bye bye everybody take care guys stay safe bye